Hey, so I'm doing something in my dressing room. Um, Y'all remember when I sort of built that wall and divided the room into two pieces, one for my, would basically be my walk-in closet, and I call it my dressing room. And then the other part is um, basically like a secretary. I have that small dresser and I built that hutch and it's at the end of the wall and then the closet with all my Christmas in it. Okay, so I've been, there's been things in there that needed to be changed. Um, if you remember, I wasn't happy with the armoire. As much as I love antique pieces and as much as I love dark wood, like all my trim and stuff, the armoire in that room was taking up so much space and it was so big and dark that I couldn't get, I just wasn't happy every time I walked in there. I just knew, and it wasn't holding anything. It was holding random little things that could easily go somewhere else. Um, so I sold it. Um, I asked around, nobody really wanted it. Mama him hauled like, don't sell it. Cause I was on that same thing. Like, should I sell it? Should I not? Um, the story, you know, I don't know if y'all remember what I said before, but when I was buying pieces to furnish Debbie's new little house after the flood and I built her the little house, it was one of the pieces I bought for her house and it, I actually bought two. Mom has one. It's that big craftsman style. Uh, I wouldn't even call it an armoire. It's more like a closet. Um, and it just didn't fit in Debbie's house. It just didn't look good. And then this armoire ended up being sort of big for her room. And I ended up needing a more narrow, tall, but narrow. So it was just an extra. So the one mom took, which is like I said, the craftsman style and it's right inside your, her front door when you go in her house in that front little nook where she, it's a desk and a little sitting area and she has it right there. And it holds everything just like my armoire sort of was, except because I had that little area with what I call a secretary it has the two drawers that little dresser I redid and built the hutch. That holds all the stuff like that's in mama's cabinet. And my armoire was too big and dark for that corner. I didn't want to paint it because I am very much against painting antique things unless it's already been painted. There's once it's already painted, you can't really do anything about it. You know, it's painted and you can, sh you can strip it, but that's a big thing. I love the country, um, that cottagey look where the base, if the body's already been painted, the body is painted white, a country antique cottagey white, and then you st you strip the top and you get the real wood back. Um, sort of like how my uh, island looks, even though, I mean, it wasn't an antique piece, but just like I did that little dresser that I turned into what I call, what I'm calling my secretary. You remember, I painted it white, and I stripped the top. So I seen this dresser on Marketplace. And um, I don't, the other dresser that's in my dressing room has all my shorts in it, all the colors of shorts that I wear. Denim ones, colored ones, white ones, black ones, yellow ones, red ones, it has them all in, in it in one drawer and then in the other drawer are sweaters you know how you fold your sweaters and in the bottom drawer is um you know like spandex thing that's sort of cool uh when it's cool you would wear um so i want to put the cold things in a bag one of those bags are really pretty bags where you can see through and um I was gifted some a while back. They're gray, and I use them in Levi's room. But these, for my dressing room, I want them to be in that off-white, sort of pale, pale, yellow, off-white color. And I've already found them. So I've got one small set and then one big one with stuff already in it. So what I want to do is take that big antique. It's long. It's 44 inches long. 
It's in front of my window right now because I did do some rearranging after the on wall left. And that needs to just, I want to take it and put it in the laundry room. Y'all remember that when my laundry room, the new mud room becomes the laundry room, that vanity thing that used to be Lester's that I built for his house and I made smaller, it's going to go in my new bathroom, my half bath with the sink in it, which is what it was originally built for at Lester's house was a vanity with the sink in it. Something in that dresser can go back there. And you know what? Years ago, shortly after I had this house, that long 44 inch dresser sat right here in this living room as a sofa table, but it stuck out so wide because it is a dresser. And now I've got this little white, this little, this real sofa table or entryway table with the two little drawers and all that. So that ended up getting moved back. But what I have always kept in it, always, even when it was in here, was the bottom drawer had wrapping paper. You know, wrapping paper come long. It had wrapping paper in the bottom drawer, and then there was electronics and some random stuff that, like, extra plugs and things you'd pull out and need in one of the drawers. And I think in the top drawer, it was, like, tablets and pens and just stuff like that you would use when you want to write something really quick and you're in this part of the house. Anyway, what I want to do is move it to the laundry room. And that will free up the space where it's at for a small more compact little dresser and i seen one that i fell in love with but i wasn't going to pay that much money for it <clears throat> something i could do myself so i'm not going to tell y'all that but i am telling you that i'm going to pick up the little dresser right now that's going to have some work done to it because right now it's a bright pink or maybe a pale pink but it's pink in the picture it's pink it's going to be a different color I'm going to strip the top and get to the wood. Hope, hopefully it's a pretty wood. Even if I have to stain it and then poly it, I'll get to the wood. And then the front, the drawers are going to be, I'm going to do something to the drawers. Y'all are going to see it. I'm going to do it so y'all can watch me. So I'm going right now. Levi's already gone to the car. I'm headed that way to go pick it up. So I will show y'all what the before looks like and then take y'all along as I work on it. So I will see y'all in a bit. Okay, I'm home. Went in the house to pick up my phone so I can video. And I think I'm gonna have to do this in a couple of parts because it's gonna be a process. And I thought I could start it today when I got home. But when I got home, I went into my shop and I don't have any stripper. So I'm going to have to pick up some stripper maybe tomorrow. And don't fear, the fairy garden will get started, but I have to wait for payday to buy some treated uh, two by sixes. Okay, so here is the dresser. I love the knobs. Very, very sweet lady Dawn had this for sale. I love these knobs. Can y'all see that? It's beautiful. See the old keyhole in it right here. The, all the drawers have them. There's two of these big drawers like this, and I love this wave. Can y'all see this? Maybe from the side of you. Can you see the wave? So it was already white at one time. I was telling her how I love antiques, and I will not paint an antique unless it was already painted. And then I'll repaint it or redo something different. So here's the two small ones that are on the top. And they have, I love the fact that it wasn't something where someone had put different knobs. Like this drawer has, these two drawers have a certain kind of knob. And this has saved me a lot of money because I love the knobs. I love the knobs just the way they are now. But it is pink. And I don't want it pink. And you can see the bottom was at one time someone had painted it white. Also, at one time, it had casters. And I'm going to see if I can find some. I would love to have it on casters. And I'm going to see if I can find some casters, that, some antique casters that fit it. Because all four of the legs still have the caster place for the leg. They all have it. 
So, um, I'm gonna see if I can find it. But she was a very nice lady. And um, I told her about my page and told her that if she wanted to see it as I work on it, you know, that within the next few days I would be starting on it. And today I was really gonna start today doing the stripping of the top. If y'all can see the top up there, it has that same really pretty wave to it. And I'm hoping, what I told her I was hoping is that the top is going to resemble that wood right there. You know, the color, the old color. I love that old color. So we're gonna see what happens. But um, I think this is just gonna be my part one. I told y'all about it and I got it home. Now I'm not gonna tell you anything other than it's not going to be pink anymore. It is gonna go back to being a white, a country or an antique or a cottage, but it's going to be white. And I may use a chalk paint, might be easier than trying to sand and then paint to make sure a new paint stays. Although, see, cause you can see some of this, whatever this was right here i can scratch it look at this so i may um come in with a chalk paint chalk paint you don't have to um sand so we're gonna see what happens but i'm gonna take the knobs off and but i don't even think right now i have no i may have some country white but not in a chalk paint so i still have to do get some things like i thought I'd get home and I would start immediately, change my clothes, and then start stripping. And the minute I got home, I went straight to my shop and there was no stripper. So I'm gonna pick up that tomorrow and get started. So there will be a part two, and then that will get dry. I'll do that, maybe even paint. That'll be in a part two. Um, then a part three, that's a surprise. And then maybe a part four that will be the finished product, where the finished product is going to go, and how the new room will look with the finished product. That's my idea of how it's all going to play out. But uh, for today, I'm done for the day. I'm going to get this video put together and get this out to y'all as a part one. All right, love you guys. God bless y'all. And I will see you later. Where you going, little girl? Where you going? Yeah, come here. Hi, love. Yes, I know. Yeah, pretty girl. Come here. Little girl, come here. Yeah, come here. That's my love. Okay. All right, well, I don't know what's wrong with her. I'm crazy. You know cats, mind of their own.